Hello everybody, and uh, here we're going to go over a few examples of determining whether a figure with given vertices is a parallelogram. We have three different methods that will do that. I'm going to do numbers 1, 3, and 6 for you. The first one we're going to show how we're going to do this with the slope formula. Well, if you're going to list uh, vertices of a polygon, they are always done in order, so just a rough sketch of this possible parallelogram. You can start A wherever you want, but it will always be in order as you go around a polygon. So this will give us an idea of what sides are opposite, what sides are adjacent. Okay, so we need to find the slope of all four sides. Um, we need side AB, BC, CD, and also AD. Okay, and then if off opposite sides are, have <coughs> are parallel, and both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then we can prove that this is a parallelogram. So I'm going to use the slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, basically the difference of the y's, 3 minus 0 is 3, 1 minus 0, 1. So side AB has a slope of 3 over 1. BC, 3 minus 3 is 0, 5 minus 1 is 4, so this has a slope of 0. CD, 0 minus 3 is negative 3, 4 minus 5 is a negative 1, and this simplifies to positive 3 over 1. Okay, then AD, uh, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 4 minus 0, 4. This reduces, of course, to 0. So as we can see, AD and BC are opposites, and they have a slope of 0. AB and DC are opposites, and they both have a slope of 3. So we now have proof that, yes, this is a parallelogram. All right, number 3, we're going to use the distance formula. Um, we're going to find the distance for RS. ST. We'll find the distances for TU and also UR. Now remember our distance formula. It is a square root of the difference of the x's squared plus the difference of the y's squared. So um, for RS, the distance from negative 1 to 3, that's a distance of 4. I need to square it. And then 0 to 0 is a distance of 0 squared. Okay, so this comes out to the square root of 16 and this is 4, of course. Now I'm going to do ST. Uh, from 3 to 2 is 1. I'm going to square that. And from 0 to negative 3 is a distance of 3. Uh, 3 squared is 9. Okay, so this is 1 plus 9, square root of 10. I'll just leave it in radical form. From T to U, from 2 to negative 3, that's a distance of 5. I'm going to square that from negative 3 to negative 2, that's a distance of 1. I need to square that. So this comes out to square root of 26. UR. Okay, from the x-coordinate on R, negative 1 to negative 3, that's a distance of 2, 2 squared. From 0 to negative 2, that's a distance of 2, 2 squared. 2 squareds here are 4, 4 and 4 make 8. So as we can see, all four of these distances are different. Um, we needed them to the opposite sides, particularly, to be the same. Um, since that is the case, no, number three, if we were to plot those, they would not be a parallelogram. So that's a no there. Okay, and our last method we're going to look at is the midpoint formula. Basically, we go to the opposite vertices here, and we're going to find the midpoint between them. If those midpoints are the same, it is in fact a parallelogram. Because remember, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Okay, so I'm going to find the midpoint between F and H. Now remember, midpoint's really easy. You just take the average of the two coordinates. The average of the x's, the average of the y's. Okay, from F to H, I have 3 plus negative 3 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. For the y coordinates, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint between F and H is 0, 2. We need the midpoint between G and I to be the same. Let's see. Okay, 1 and negative 1 make 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. Okay, it's looking good so far. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 divided by, three is, six divided by 2 is 3. So as we can see, these two midpoints did not match up. The answer to this one is no. It is not a parallelogram.